Acid nomenclature, or naming acids. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get an overview of what acids are. Okay, and right now we're just going to focus on being able to identify them because we're learning how to name them. And certain kinds of acids or categories of acids are more easily identified, and these are the Arrhenius and Bronsted Lowry acids. We'll talk about that more later on in the course, but right now we just want to focus on being able to identify when we have an acid. Okay, so I've put a few examples of different types of acids here. Okay, so here we have hydrobromic acid. Okay. And this guy, you can see, starts with an H, all right? Molecular formula begins with an H, it's an acid, okay? Here's another one, sulfuric acid. So here is sulfate, that's our polyatomic. Remember him, oxyanion, we learned how to name him. And he has two H pluses bonded to him to form sulfuric acid. Same thing with carbonate, carbonate has two H pluses bonded to him and he forms carbonic acid and then finally here's hyperiodic acid. Okay, Now we're going to learn to name two different kinds of acids. So the first kind is the kind that involves oxygen and those oxyanions that we talked about in the previous video. And those guys are a little bit easier to name than the other category which would be hydrobromic acid. This is this acid involves a monatomic ion and just one H plus bonded. You'll, there's also a few polyatomics that don't have oxygen and we name those guys like this. Okay, So the big thing to keep in mind here as we go through this is that different naming rules apply to acids that involve oxygen and acids that do not. Okay. So let's learn how to name acids with oxygen first because that is a little bit easier. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify our oxyanion. So if you see an oxyanion and hydrogen is bonded to it, or H+, because that's what that is, then you have an acid. Okay, so then you have an acid. So some common examples of this, sulfuric acid, carbonic acid, and iodic acid. Okay. Now let's learn how to name these guys. Alright, so here's our first rule. So if the oxyanion in the acid, so you need to find it first, if it ends in 8, as in sulfate, okay, then we're going to change that ending to ick. So we're going to hack off the 8, we're going to put ick on it, and then we're just going to add the word acid. So let's try it. So here, we have an acid, see, so there's H plus at the beginning, here's a polyatomic oxyanion, okay, the anion is chlorate, all right, so if we remove H plus, it's going to leave that extra electron behind, we end up with chlorate, negative one, we're going to remove eight, so hack off that, add ick, and then just add the word acid, so we end up with chloric acid. Okay. Now, let's go to the let's go to the next one in the series, basically one more oxygen, and remember chlorate, if we add one more oxygen to the oxyanion or the polyatomic, we end up with perchlorate. Okay? Now, that guy can make an acid too. All right, and here it is. And we're going to take off this 8 ending. We're going to leave this alone. All that's going to stay there. So, the perchlor stays there. We're just going to remove the 8 we're going to add ick and then add the word acid. So we get perchloric acid. Okay, now, what about the guys that end in ite? Okay, and basically it's the same type of pattern, except for if it ends in ite, instead of adding ick, we're going to add us. Okay, so remove the ite ending, add us, and then we're going to add the word acid. All right, so here's hypochlorite, okay, that's our oxyanion, we've learned how to name him. So there's hypochlorite, we're going to, when we have an H plus in front of him, we're going to remove the ite, okay, we're going to add us, and then we're also going to add the word acid to let everyone know it's an acid, 
and so we have hypochlorous acid. Okay. All right. So what about this other guy? Here's chlorite. Okay. He's an acid. He has an H plus. So we're going to remove it. We're going to add OUS. Okay. So now we're going to have chlorus. Add the word acid. So we end up with chlorous acid. Okay. Now these guys are just a little bit harder. There's a there's an additional step basically. So we're going to name acids without oxygen. That's kind of my little simple category trying to make it as simple as possible. And we're going to see acids made with you know some sort of monatomic anion such as bromide or we can also have a polyatomic anion that doesn't involve oxygen. So this guy is called cyanide. That's the other one. All right. So we're going to work with examples like this now. Now here's a few more examples of monatomic ions and you should be familiar with these from the naming ionic compounds that we did at the very beginning. So here's chloride, okay, naming that anion. Take chlorine, hack off the ene, add ide, so we have chloride. Same thing with sulfide, okay. Take off the er, add the ide, so we have sulfide. Here's, an, here's a monatomic anion made from iodine. Hack off the ion, add the IDE, we end up with iodide. Okay, so these guys can be involved in acids. So these corresponding acids are hydrochloric acid. Okay, so if you add H plus to a chloride, put it in water, you're going to get hydrochloric acid. You can also have hydrosulfuric acid. Okay, and hydroiodic acid. Okay, now it, it's really easy to get confused here because notice if this had an oxygen here, we would add hypochlorous acid. Okay, so you have to be really, really careful. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the rules for this. So we want to name acids formed from monatomic ions or polyatomics without oxygen. And these guys are going to end with an IDE ending. Okay, so Find the anion in the acid, all right, name it, take off that IDE, and put on ick. We're going to add a prefix to these guys. Notice we did not do it for the acids in, that involved oxyanions, but for these guys we do. We add the prefix hydro, okay, which means water, and then we're going to add the word acid to the end of it, okay? So let's look at an acid made from chloride, okay? We're going to remove the IDE ending, so we end up with chlor, and then we're going to put ick on it, so now we have chloric. We need to add our prefix hydro, so now we have hydrochloric, and then we're just going to add the word acid, okay? So that's HCl. You've probably heard of that acid, hydrochloric acid. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. So the acid that we made from sulfide, okay, we're going to remove IDE and add ick. So now we have sulfic, sulfuric, I should say, and we're going to add the prefix hydro, okay, and then the word acid, so hydrosulfuric acid. And then finally, let's look at one made from fluoride, F minus, okay, remove IDE, add ick. All right, so now we have fluoric. We're going to add our prefix hydro, so now we have hydrofluoric, and then the word acid to have hydrofluoric acid right there. Okay, so why don't you try a few? So pause the presentation, and then we'll go through these. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to this acid here, okay? And so let's look at the anion. It's an oxyanion. This is bromite. Okay. We're going to remove ITE and add OUS. So remove IT and add US and the, and the word acid. So we have bromous acid. Now notice I did not say hydrobromous acid. That would be incorrect because this is an acid involving an oxyanion. Okay. So no hydro. All right, so just bromous acid when the 
acid involves an oxyanion. Okay, now here's one where we are going to add the hydro, all right, because the anion in this guy is cyanide, and he's a polyatomic, but he doesn't contain oxygen, and he does have an IDE ending. So we're going to remove that IDE ending, and we're going to add ick, okay, so now we have cyanic, all right, we're going to add the prefix hydro, so now we have hydrocyanic, and then the word acid, hydrocyanic acid. HCN. Okay, so this guy, all right, so here, there is our polyatomic, and that is phosphate, okay? It's an oxyanion. We're going to remove the 8 and add the ick, okay? So we have phosphoric, okay, and then just the word acid. And remember, no hydro because this polyatomic involves oxygen. All right, and then finally, here's our acid with carbonate, okay? All right, so there's our anion, oxyanion. Remove the 8, add the ick, so carbonic, and then the word acid, carbonic acid.